Maliwen event has been here for some time now and today I want to bring you guys my top 5 legendaries so far acquired from this event. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you guys enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Now these are just my top 5 legendaries, my favourites and no doubt yours will differ. So tell me down below the very best item you've had so far from this event which suits your build, which you have built an amazing build around, whatever it is, let me know down below. Okay so let's get into it and my top 5 legendaries from this takedown at the Maliwan Black Sight event. So at 5 we have the Antifreeze class mod for Zayn. Now this class mod for me is something I feel many Zayn users have been waiting for, for a long while. It offers many aspects which in turn result in us being able to build a few different builds to the best of their ability adding that link that they were missing. So the Antifreeze class mod offers, while sliding or airborne Zayn gains plus 40% weapon damage and a plus 20% damage reduction and while slowed Zane gains plus 25% movement speed. So my Zayn mains out there will understand and realise seeing this while it allows us to create with Zane. A little demo I included in my review of this item a while back where this class mod is being paired with a couple of perks which turn speed into damage. Stacking them with this allows us to get damage out of Zane rarely seen. This antifreeze is obtained by the way from the Arbalest of Discipline and Wharton. So if you're a Zayn man and you ain't got this yet, I truly suggest you trying to get it people. And that's why it is at my number 5 spot. It's a great, great class mod. One unique and one I say Zayn mains out there must have. At 4 we have the Tiggs Boom Shotgun. Now the Tiggs Boom Shotgun is at the moment, well broke. Not really in a good way either, in a way which limits what we actually see this thing do and what it's capable of. Now firstly I have many variants of this weapon and it does come offering all elements but my favourite of the bunch is this recently acquired Cryo version. Anointed to Zane, after swapping places with your Digiclone weapon damage is increased by 130% for a short time. Now I have a build already stored which makes the most out of the Digiclone along with Zane's Sub-Zero build. This Tiggs Boom is perfect for pairing up with that. Now how this is brought by the way people is the fact that this thing upon you landing shots drops meteors on enemies, actually really powerful meteors too, much like the rain firestorm. Problem is depending on your elevation these meteors can be nowhere to be seen. That's because they seem to be locked at a certain elevation upon spawning which means if you are above that certain point they spawn under the map, if you are below it they spawn way above you. There are certain places across many planets where it does work as intended though and it's within these places you realise this thing's true potential. It is in my opinion upon it being fixed it will be one of the best shotguns in this game. Now the Tiggs Boom is an exclusive drop from Wharton people. And it's actually one of his more popular drops. Okay so at 
3 we have the Moonfire Pistol. This is another weapon which as far as I know only drops at Walton the Invincible. Now this pistol I have made a review on like all weapons covered today which you'll find linked within the video description. So this variant, this Moonfire, which I picked over many others, much like the Tig's Boom, this one offers that Cryo, which in relationship with my version of the Sub-Zero build with Zane, this gets to work guys. Also on Action Skill End, the next two magazines deal additional incendiary damage. With a plus 43% weapon damage, a plus 45% critical hit damage bonus, plus 15% weapon fire rate and a plus 69% projectile speed. This weapon is just great and I honestly don't even like that many pistols if I'm to tell you the truth. But this is one of the ones I do like and there's a few others but to be honest this is near the top of the list of the ones I do actually enjoy using. So the Moonfire guys is a great great pistol. One you can get from Walton and one I suggest you try to get if you haven't got it already. So at two we have the Kibbs Worth. Again the Kibbs Worth is a weapon exclusive to Walton the Invincible. Now the Kibbs Worth is I believe the first weapon I covered after this event started. And it was the first weapon I tried out and because of that a lot of weapons that followed this had a lot to live up to. Now this weapon is one I believed and mentioned within the video I reviewed it as being in reference to Destiny and the Vault Glass Raid. Now I won't get into that here, that video you will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. So the Kibbs Worth is a Maliwan SMG, some of the best SMGs the game offers and this one is no different. This variant is a 2 times, but 3 times variants do exist and they come offering 2 of all elements in the game. My favourite, the one you can see on screen now, switches between radiation and corrosive. What I love about this is the fact it frees up a spot within my loadout just for the fact it can switch between 2 elements. So my variant offering 564 times 2 for its damage output, 74% accuracy, 58% handling, a 2.2 second reload time, a 8.68 fire rate and a magazine size of 24 with a plus 28% weapon charge speed, plus 90 splash radius, plus 16 melee damage and a plus 69% projectile speed. Also on action skill end, weapon damage is increased by 100% for a short time. So this Maliwan SMG, it works a lot like a mixture of the Cutsman and the Devoted. Very powerful indeed, but its party trick is what makes this thing stand out from the other Maliwan SMGs. Fallen enemies spawn a healing aura once every 10 seconds. This healing aura is an amazing addition and in my opinion it's one of the more unique traits we see from legendaries within the game. This healing aura, by the way people if you haven't seen it, is super effective and within those harder modes, much like Mayhem 3 and 4, this thing is super super helpful and a lot of the time it does make the difference. So yes, the Kibbs Worth, an amazing SMG and one I almost put at that number one spot. So people, at number one, and my favourite legendary from this takedown at the Maliwan event is the Redistributor. Now this SMG, if you haven't seen my review, isn't actually like a new weapon to the game. It was first a side mission reward, which was a part of the base game. Thing is, it was only a rare back then. Within my review of this legendary variant, I made it clear that I hadn't actually used that rare version. So I didn't know why it was brought back as a legendary. But after the review video and I fully tested this thing out, I fully understood why they brought it back. The weapon is absolutely incredible. Now there are many variants available, but this one you can see on screen now is my favourite I've got so far. Offering that corrosive damage which is highly effective versus armour. Every 7th shot is amped and those amped shots chain to nearby enemies. Now I reviewed this in depth and like all items I reviewed, I do test them to their limits. The reviews to all items featured today you'll find a link to in the video description if you're interested to see them people. But yeah. I always said that Maliwan offered the best SMGs in this game. I actually, after using this, take that back. This, in my opinion, is my new go-to SMG. It's super powerful. It's capable of taking out groups of adds, and although its stats don't really give it that much of justice, this thing definitely offers, SMG-wise, a top-tier DPS. I mean, it shoots so quick, it lays down so much damage, and that seventh shot being amped as well, which chains to other enemies, makes this thing a force to be reckoned with. Now, this redistributor is a weapon you can get from the Valkyrie squad, as well as Walton. I highly recommend you seeking it out if you don't have it already people. 
The redistributor is my favorite new legendary uh, to this takedown at the Maluan Black Sight event. And this, along with the other four, are my top five legendaries this event offers. Tell me down below if in that comment section what's the best legendary you've got so far from this event. Why it's the best, why it fits your build, why it fits your playstyle, whatever it is, let me know. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.